Let's get started. You'll first start out by flattening your clay. Next, you'll use your small round cookie cutter and cut out a circle. After you're done with that, it should be thick enough to where you can flatten it out. And these are gonna be the little wings for the stingray. So you'll wanna flatten it out to where you will have enough room for its little head. Now, take a, a little snake of silver clay and flatten it out to a kind of rectangle shape. Once you get the rectangle shape, you're going to want to pinch one end so that it is lower than the other parts and place it right in the middle of your flattened out circle. Now take a dotting tool to begin to smooth it out. Once you smooth that out completely, you're going to take what you have left for the tail and start spinning it in, your, in between your fingers and pull it out so that it has a small point. Now take your smallest dotting tool and add two little holes for the eyes. I forgot to show this step, but I would take a tiny little piece of black clay and put them in for the eyes. I accidentally forgot to do this, but yeah. So now you're going to roll out a really thin snake of your silver clay and cut it out. And these are going to be its little eyebrows. I tend to want to do it because I think it looks adorable. You don't have to if you don't want to. But you're just going to put it right above the eye, kind of on the top of the head, on the side, and smooth it out to where it's like a little line and you will have an adorable little stingray eyebrow. Now for the resin, you want to mix equal parts or whatever instructions are on your package and mix it up. I recommend using gloves. I just accidentally forgot to put my gloves on at this point because I had already started and I figured it was too late. But for beginners and everyone using resin watching this tutorial, I sound like a hypocrite, but wear gloves because it is safer. Now, once you have your stingray baked you're gonna want to paint on the little details and I'm using gold clay so I painted on some little dots because I think this makes it look really adorable now for the pond part you're gonna want to have a little container whatever you like I found this container at the dollar store an entire pack of 10 which is great now just add in the sand of your choice or you can use pebbles it's up to you add some resin on top of the sand and then you'll begin placing your rocks and seashells
Don't forget to blow out the bubbles with a straw or a heating tool of your choice. Here's our little stingray in its pond, and now you can use it wherever you want in the house. Um, give it to a friend, they make adorable gifts, and thank you for watching.